Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with Grammy-nominated jazz saxophonist Troy Roberts on the 2022 CD, New Jive Nations United. He opened up about releasing the new album as COVID slows and live shows pick back up. As a leader, he has 14 albums in his catalog, and on this latest album, he features longtime friends who, in 2009, formed the band that he calls New Jive. The band's fourth release focuses on the sounds representing the countries that the members originate from, including the United States, Australia, Venezuela, India, the United Kingdom, France, Ireland, and Portugal. It's a great mix of music with a lot of voices. Enjoy the story. It's been a while since we spoke. Um, Has been, yeah. <laughs> and at that time, we didn't have the calamity on planet Earth that we've had over the last couple of years. Did we not speak during my last album release? Uh, what was it? Uh, Best Buddies with Tim Jagger? Oh, we did. Yeah, actually, that was in uh, 2020, wasn't it? That was 2021. 2021, okay. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm i losing track of time. All uh, This whole <laughs> period's just been kind of a blur. But, well, but You and I both. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, thank you for taking a minute out. And I wanted to talk to you specifically. You know, it's been a while since we spoke. Things are opening up now. The world's in a better place. You have a new album, New Drive Nations United. And I'm curious, what does it mean for you to have this new album out with the world opening up, the potential for live music, all of that? How does that, how does that feel? Well, it's extremely, extremely liberating, I must say. Uh, it, it's just, I think if the pandemic didn't happen, it would be, you know, I'd be excited about a new album, but it'd be business as usual. But um, it took the pandemic to really make me um, appreciate what I have. And um, I couldn't be happier to be back out touring and performing and um, releasing new music to the world um, to play live. So, yeah, very excited. So what have live shows been like for you? Um, they've been great. It's really great to see people hungry to see live music. I, I think there was a lot of talk about uh, whether the the whole thing of seeing live music will die out with the pandemic and, and, you know, in the digital age where everyone can see everything streaming or hear music digitally. But actually, um, I had the first glimpse of it in Australia when we were on lockdown in 2020, um, I managed to get the last flight out of New York and got to Australia and I was hanging with my family and it was completely locked down, but they, they did really well. They shut the borders uh, domestically and internationally. And because of that, there were no cases. So they opened up like maybe four months into it or maybe three months into it, you know, back to normal and people were hungry for music. And venues, the, the few gigs I did while I was home were just packed. Like People really wanted it. So it was a good sign, and I was hoping it was going to be like that elsewhere, and it sure has been. Um, yeah, really great to be back out playing live. How did you put this album together? What was kind of the artistic uh, momentum behind this album? Uh, New Jive, uh, that's J-I-V-E. Uh, we, we've been a band since... I think 2009 is when I started this band. It, it began out of kind of uh, the absence of my um, my band in Australia. It's called Void. And, uh, you know, life happens. Our manager sadly passed. who got so much done for us. And um, we all split around to different parts of the world. And it made being a band very difficult. Um and so I landed up in Miami at the time and needed something to continue writing and, and playing in that vein. And I put together this band, New Jive, um, with four of my, well, initially three of my best friends, um, all from different cliques in the Miami music scene. And miraculously, it all worked. It all came together. Because it's not a given that great musicians will all work well together. You know, it's just, People are into different things and personalities and all that, but it was like magic. It just it began as a quartet, and we've all been best buddies since. And then a year into it, uh, that was after our first release, New Jive, my boy Tim Jago moved over from Australia and 
started a master's at the University of Miami. So he was around, he was checking out the gigs, and I said, man, you should join the band. So he came on board, and since then it's been a five-piece, and we've done three more albums since he joined. That's four in total, and uh, now, same thing. We all live in different parts of this country. Um, Dave Shiverton and Tim Jago, that's the drummer and the, ba the guitarist, they live in Miami still. Eric England is the bass player, and he lives in L.A., and myself and Silvano Monasterios, he's the piano player or keyboard player. He lives in New York with me. Um, so, yeah, it's it's worth it making it all happen. It's a lot of flying around, but, um, yeah, that's what people do. What are you hoping the listener gets from this album? First of all, I hope the listener keeps an open mind because <laughs> it's certainly not straight ahead jazz. And I guess if people are well accustomed to the pop world or, um, you know, classic soul, R&B, gospel music, all the things we draw from, they're, they're going to feel like this is way more jazz than that. So it's kind of this weird in-between genres kind of music. But I don't really care. <laughs> I'm, I'm just hoping that the listener will, will embark on the journey to just kind of, you know, let this music make them feel how they feel. Because um, at, at the end of the day, that's that's what matters, um, not the technical aspects of the compositions and the recording uh, technology, etc. It's about how the listener feels, and uh, this music's designed to, um, yeah, evoke emotions and um, feelings, and uh, as well as be interesting to the avid musician as well. It's a very delicate balance. And um, we draw from styles uh, across the board, as I mentioned, but um, I've also tried to make this album a little representative of the fact that we come from all different parts of the world. And um, amongst us, we, we represent, um, obviously, the United States, Australia, Venezuela, Silvano's heritage is from Venezuela. Mine is from India, UK, Australia, France, Ireland, Portugal. <laughs> I'm a very big mix of things. And, um, yeah, Eric is um, black, white, and French. He's a French grandmother. And Dave Shiverton is uh, African-American. And uh, and uh, Tim is Australian, but I think he has some Spanish heritage there. They haven't done a family tree, so I didn't really include that in the press. <laughs> but his last yeah. name is Jago. So. <laughs> so, you know, with everything opening up and things getting back to some semblance of, of what it used to be, what's coming up for you? What uh, what kind of live shows? What are you looking forward to as this year kind of unfolds and hopefully everything stays stable? Yeah, I'm pretty busy coming up, um, mostly as a side man. Uh, Going out on the road with uh, John Fedjock next month. We're going to Brazil. Uh, there's a few other international trips coming up, as well as some U.S. things. I'm playing the Hollywood Bowl Jazz Festival in two weeks with Veronica Swift. Uh, an another bunch of shows with her after that in Stowe, Vermont, and uh, Ventura Music Festival. Later on in September, we're playing the Monterey Jazz Festival. With my own band, I'm trying to keep busy with uh, with New Drive and my quartet. It's the balance between those two. My quartet's very straight ahead. And uh, we're playing at the Deerhead next month at Spall's Jazz Club in the city following that. Then New Drive goes on the road in September. We're playing New Blue in New York, uh, Boston at Scholars Jazz Club. And then we'll be venturing on to Slippery Rock University to present a master class and a concert. Yeah, we have more things down the pipeline. It seems like you got to really book these things in advance these days. Uh, we're going to be at Birdland in November. Fingers crossed we're in the pipeline of getting a approval to uh, perform at the Perth International Jazz Festival. So it would be the first time I could take uh, my band home. <laughs> it's, um, it's been in, on the cards for a long time, and fingers crossed it works this time. Yeah, that maybe should be the next album is just called Fingers Crossed with just fingers crossed on the front of the album. <laughs> that's know. really great. Yeah, I might steal that. <laughs> that's, that's where we're at in the world. I think that shirt would sell in this modern world. But 
So, you know, before we, uh, before we head off here, I want to get into the good business of you and your life and the new album and touring. So let everybody know the best place to pick up the album, to stream it, and to find out what's going on with you and shows that are coming up. Okay. Yeah, for all you cheapos out there, you can stream it for free. <laughs> um, it's available on Spotify and Apple Music and YouTube, etc. But the best way to support the artist is to get it via Bandcamp. And you can find my Bandcamp page by visiting toyrobotmusic.com. That's T-O-Y-R-O-B-O-T music.com. And that will have a list of all my releases, and when you click them, they, they go to my Bandcamp page. And uh, that's the best place to get it and support us, and uh, which will enable us to keep recording in the future. And that's the name of the game. Hey, man, it was great to catch up with you again. Troy, thank you for opening up, giving me a minute of your time. Good luck with everything as we move forward with the album and live shows. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joe. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview, where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players and minds in Australia, New York City, Kansas City, and spots all over the world giving fans all that jazz. Thanks to Troy for his time, music, and story. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino in the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. And for more on Joe Domino, joedomino.com. And if you feel like it, you can kick in via Patreon or PayPal. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.